Hello, gentlemen. Uh, my first question is for, for Ben, not only as an actor, but as a producer. How would you say Batman is different to the Batman in the previous movie? Well, the Batman in the, in the last movie was an angrier, more of a loner. You know, he was defined in, in large measure by his conflict with Superman, that's the title. Mm -hmm. um, and in this movie, he's much more of a team player. He wants to bring people together. He wants to get people to collaborate. And for the first time, I think, um, Batman makes it to Russia. What did you actually film Russian scenes without giving away what they uh, are? But I did, it was all a soundstage. It was all built, but we didn't. Uh, yeah, we we we, uh, we didn't actually go to Russia to shoot. Oh, although I would have loved to. You should next time. Um, Ray, out of all actors who ever played Batman, which one is your favorite? Ben Affleck. <laughs> well, what a guy! Oh, Why? another <laughs> question. I think you're the best cyborg. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> um, the, there are magnificent battle scenes, but they must be very tedious to, to model through them. How do you get through them? Where do you find the energy? I think the energy trickles down, trickled, a lot of it trickled down from Zach and our stunt team. I mean, we worked with some of the best people in the business on this, and people who are really, really passionate. And I think the energy they brought to it only fueled us in getting to, in, in, in what we did every take. Um, yeah, there's a lot of prep that went into it. You know, everything's mapped out. Zach, you know, shot for shot, had everything lined up exactly what he wanted. So it didn't actually feel, it didn't feel very tedious at all. Would you agree, Ben? Yeah, you know. <laughs> You're just like, a, what is it? <laughs> it's not easy to do those scenes, you know what I mean? Because they are oftentimes done piecemeal and um, they're very specifically choreographed. And so it's about doing a lot of really little things well, rather than stringing together one long, you know, good take. You know, you focus on e almost each second of the fight scene and try to build it together. So it becomes like a mosaic of little tiles, you know, that you can only see the full picture when the movie's put together. Mm. And at some point, your character says that, somebody asks him, what, what, are you, what is your superpower? He says, I'm rich. Which is a good point, point that money doesn't have to be bad and greedy, and it kind of grants him Yeah, he's somebody who certainly decided to, I mean, it's a little bit of an unorthodox uh, approach to philanthropy, but he's decided <laughs> to, uh, to fight crime on his own and spend his money to build fancy gadgets that help him um, stop crime. On balance, I would say that's probably a good thing, but maybe not a good life choice for everybody. What does he feel towards Diana? I think he feels drawn to Diana and he feels very, uh, he admires her a great deal. Uh, he's very impressed by her. Yeah, who isn't drawn to Diana? I mean, she's got that warmth, she just brings everybody in. She's definitely one of the most cohesive parts of, uh, of the group and getting everybody to come together. One of the most beautiful women in the group. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> she's the only one. <laughs> the only yeah, one. She's quite beautiful. But there's room for more. And that's not to say that's she right. will only ever be the only one woman in the group. But yeah. <laughs> Ray, also, how did you get your head around the fact that you were playing the cyborg, a machine? Uh, a lot of it from the comics. Like, uh, mm -hmm. I drew a lot from the, uh, the original run of Marv Wolfman and George Perez's The New Teen Titans uh, comic from the 1980s. Uh, also being able to work really closely with Zach and Chris Terrio as the piece was being developed and, and you know, them letting me into what they were thinking at a very early stage really gave me the, the sort of jumping off point that I would need to, to get my head around what it would be like to, to be this particular individual. Because I don't think anybody on our planet understands like completely what that's about, losing your body and being, having it replaced with, with a robot, you know. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of imaginative resources as well. Ben, do you think uh, Batman will welcome more superheroes into the team? I hope so, yeah. I mean, in the comic book, the league certainly expands quite a bit, and it's, you know, characterized by people coming and going all the time. So there's definitely no end of Keep them coming new in. characters. <laughs> yeah. Thank, Thank you so much, guys. Cheers. Thank you. Leave thumbs up, comment below the video, and subscribe to our channel. I will see you very soon. Bye-bye. Take care.